Hey everybody, today I'm going to ride Lehigh's Dream. I've ridden that three times already, twice on my regular bike, once on my e-bike. I'm on my e-bike today, I'm all by myself, so I'm going to do a little run on my e-bike and show you guys what it's all about. So I just climbed up a uh, Mayor's North Trail, so right over this direction. When I came in, I came in from this dirt road over here. So if you go to the Maple Hollow uh, trailhead, or I think it's Maple Hollow, Maple something. There's a lot of maple trails here in Utah. If you come over from there, you can follow that dirt road. Anyway, this is Lehigh's Dream right here. Um, other option is to go through some neighborhoods down at the bottom. And that's where I just barely came up was that mare's north. There's also a mare south. Uh, you can go on a trail called Mojo's. I think Moho, Moho's, Mojo's, something like that. I don't know. You'll have to forgive me. I, I don't ride up here very often, so these trails are not my expertise. So this trail is, it's pretty fun. I feel like it's a good mix of uh, flow and tech. It is a little bit loose, uh, it's a new trail starts out winding through these trees couple little rock kickers widen through these oak trees a little zigzag then eventually it's going to open up into uh, more berms a um, couple natural type jumps has one or two little steep sections I like these little rock features they've incorporated. They left the rocks in so you can jump them like those right there. One, two, buckle my shoe. They get going fast. Nice jump. Be careful because it, it gets loose like right there. There's a couple off camber loose sections where if you're not in the right spot, you may just slide off. That's a fun little rock jump you got there. Now you come into a little bit of chunky looseness. It is a little bit pedally. You know, I debated between riding the e-bike and riding my, oh, right here to the left. This is the first technical feature, uh, black diamond technical feature, I should say. So you can, I've never dropped it, but if you go to the left, you can drop it. If you go right here to the right, you just roll it. And that's all I, that's all I ever do is roll it. Uh, I got a buddy, Eric, he likes to drop it. He's more experienced than I. And then it just ties back into this main trail right here. So I believe, they consider this trail a blue trail with some optional black features. I've been playing with my tire pressure along with my shock pressure. So that's, that's why it's kind of tricky for me to, between my e-bike and my regular bike, my stump jumper, I just had the suspension redone on my stump jumper by a suspension syndicate and they did such an excellent job. That stump jumper feels amazing right now. It's so supple, soft. It's like riding on a couch on this hill. And I'm just trying to, trying to replicate that feeling on this bike <laughs> is a little bit difficult. Nice little rock drop feature right there. Then it gets to this pedally bit through the sagebrush. So the nice thing about the e-bike obviously is you can get in a lot of miles quickly. And that's my plan. I'm riding tomorrow. And so here's a optional double. Hmm, Rory said it's a great jump. Eric hit it, so you can you can either 
double it to the left or you can roll it to the right. Every other time I've rolled it. <laughs> That's not bad. I didn't really pop like I wanted to. There's a little, little bit of a rock right before and I kind of got bailed out. Poor technique. Bailed out by the fact that I was going just fast enough that I landed just right. Easy, smooth. Then you got this nice little rock garden here. A couple little natural rock gardens. It's like they took this trail and just kind of zigzagged across the mountain looking for every fun little rock feature so you could uh, play on it. So there is some nice soft smooth single track mixed in with some nice fun technical rock features so they just they went on a search for rocks <laughs> apparently there's not a lot of rocks around here because <laughs> you got to go in between this flowy smooth stuff to get there But it's pretty cool. They worked with what they got, right? So then you got this little jump here. Found a rock there. I don't know, did they stack that up for us or was that there like that? I don't know. So there's another technical feature there over here to the left. I was in a wreck a couple weeks ago. I'm still sore from it. That's not something I want to do by myself today um, it's just a uh, like a rock shoot and uh, from what I understand it's really loose and soft down in the bottom end a little bit rutted out and I just don't feel like scraping my elbow on some rocks today so sorry if you guys like that stuff then go for it and let me know what you think we got a nice fun rock roll right here <laughs> I don't know if they put those in naturally or if they put them in naturally <laughs> that makes sense right if they put those in to kind of cover a hole or if it was just naturally there is what I'm trying to say <laughs> then you come to Probably one of the most technical rock gardens that is a must hit. Not too bad. Stay down the middle and you'll be fine. Ish. Just everything rolls. I've got a nice little optional rock chop, rock jump, kicker, booter. That one's kind of weird. It's kind of just a little drop. So this one, I'm sure you could go to the left somehow, but I go to the right. That's what's fun too. A little rock drop. There's options on this trail, yeah? So it's kind of for everybody and anybody and then from what I've been told down here to the left um, they're gonna put in some jumps they're working on them right now they should be done here in a little bit and from what I have read online they're uh, supposed to be 12 of them with rock kickers I'm gonna climb back up this trail if you're not on a knee bike I don't recommend coming up here. It's a little bit rough, a little bit tough. I mean, you could do it. It's just kind of a low point of a ravine. So anyway, that was Lehigh's dream. Come on, check it out. 
put some more wheels on it. Pack it in, pack it in. Should be fun. Sounds like they got lots of plans for this side of the mountain.